What's up guys, Tipati Percy here and welcome back to a different kind of guide. But before we deep dive into the depths of the tier lists and the illusions they create, I feel like I need to address or at least answer the question some of you guys ask in the comments and in my community discord. Did Percy stop streaming and making guides? Nope. As you can see I'm still here and I will talk about the reasons at the end of this video. So now take a look at these two lists. On the left side, we have the classes Paladin, Bard, Gunlancer, Summoner, Artillerist, Berserker. And on the right side, we have the classes Soulfist, Shadowhunter, Striker, Scrapper, Deathblade, Sharpshooter, Gunslinger, Deadeye, and Wardancer. So, what is this about? It is definitely not a tier list. By now there are thousands of Lost Ark class tier lists floating around in the internet and most of those lists won't apply to the EU NA version because of several reasons. To understand this you have to know first how and based on what balance patches are made and applied in Lost Ark. Compared to other MMORPGs, Smilegate makes changes to the class balance pretty frequently, which of course often changes the tier list. Yeah, yeah, I know, you heard that already thousand times and you still want to go for the current best Pogoli MVP class. And to be honest, that is fine. But did you know that those balanced decisions are tied to the Korean end content and to be more specific to the set effects? Give you an example. If they release a new awesome tier with new gear and set effects, those effects will benefit some classes obviously more than others. So to address this issue, Smilegate usually tries to balance those over or underperforming classes by buffing or nerfing some skills. Now, the veterans and the smart boys here will have figured it out by now. The issue some classes most likely have to face on the EU NA servers. We will for sure have at EU NA release one of the most recent balance patches from the Korean servers. And now imagine a nerf class which was overperforming on the Korean servers with tier 3 sets having to play with the tier 1 set. Yeah, that won't go well and that's why a lot of those tier lists are not that accurate. So that's it Percy, that's the only reason why those tier lists aren't accurate. Nope. More reasons incoming. Starting with the perceived tier list. What does it mean? Simple. Let's say you chose this S tier class based on some tier lists. And for the first few weeks and even for months, you might struggle to see why this class was ranked S tier if you are constantly getting out TPS by apparently lower tier classes. It might be because of how balance works in Lost Ark, which I explained of course earlier, or because you are just bad. But let's assume none of that is the case. What left are the three M's? Mechanics, money and minutes. Mm, to be honest, I could have named the time instead of minutes, but the temptation to have the triple M's was too strong. So let's start with the first M, mechanics. Once again, I know there are a lot of people out there who might be new to Lost Ark or even new to the MMORPG genre, which is why I will use Gunslinger and Deadeye as an example to explain why mechanics are one of the reasons why most of the tier lists are inaccurate. If you ask any veteran Lost Ark player the question which one of those classes will deal more damage in general, you will most likely get a fast reply saying that Gunslinger deals more damage. That is not wrong if we are talking about the higher tier content guardians and boss mechanics. The end game boss mechanics are tricky and they often move a lot and will give you less time to properly position yourself to trigger back attack. So for those who don't know here a short TLDR, some skills in Lost Ark have the back attack skill FX these skills will deal more damage and have a higher chance to crit if you attack, who would have guessed it, the back of a boss or a guardian. Deadeye and Gunslinger might have the same weapon choices, but are built around different ones. 
Gunslinger's most damage dealing skills are the skills with the sniper. And for Deadeye, it is the shotgun. More importantly, Gunslinger's sniper skills have a bigger range and deal unconditional max amount of damage from any position. Deadeye with his shotgun skills has a higher damage potential than Gunslinger's sniper skills, but needs to be close and behind the boss to pull it off. Now, put one and one together and you know where we are heading towards. In higher tier content where the Guardians offer less time and opportunity to deal back attack damage, the Gunslinger will outdps the majority of the Deadeyes who needs the correct position to deal max amount of damage. This is not the case for EU and A, where we will have tier 1 content with much simpler burst mechanics and more time to deal back attack damage. So most of the dead eyes will perform way better than gunslingers. Same thing applies to many other classes which are usually ranked lower on Korean or Russian tier 3 based lists. These classes will perform way better in tier 1 and tier 2. Of course you can argue that Thinking long term, it might be still better to rely on the Korean or Russian tier lists, because we will get there at some point, right? True, but by the time we get tier 3 on EU and A servers, you would have had several balance patches, and at that point, the tier list might look completely different from the current tier 3 based tier lists. Next M on the list is money. Don't worry, it's not about pay to win or actual money. It's more about the investment in terms of in-game resources and min-maxing needed to outperform other classes. For example, there are classes in Lost Ark which require just one or two level 1 engravings to dish out some decent damage. But there are also other classes which require multiple level 3 engravings to shine. In addition to that, on the other regions with the tier 3 content people have usually 5 level 3 engravings. That is simply impossible to obtain with tier 1 gear. And let us not forget the gems, which boost the damage and reduce the cooldown of the slotted skills. These gems exist in tier 3, but not in tier 1, which is the tier we will have at EUNA launch. Those two min maxing factors, which require time and gold, or are simply unobtainable at launch, will make a huge difference and will render tier 3 based tier lists less accurate. So once again, classes and builds which require no gems and less engravings to perform well, will do overall better in tier 1. Only one more M left, so let's tackle the minutes. To be more specific, it is about the time and experience needed to perform well with your class. The tier lists are usually based on the assumption that everyone play the class at peak performance. Let's be honest, most of us are just some average endies. We want to be grandmaster level players, but we are at best average or slightly better. So if you follow the tier list, we will realize in game on EUNA that some lower tier classes outperforming our meta choice easily. Like in every other game. Lost Ark has class with low or high skill floor and ceiling. Especially during the first few weeks and months, low skill floor classes will shine, because those won't require much time to get used to, are more forgiving, and require less optimal positioning. As an example, we can compare the classes Warlord and Artillerist with, of course, Deadeye. Warlord and Artillerist are both tanky, and won't get punished as hard as a squishy dead eye if you get hit by the attacks of a boss. In addition to that, as an artillerist you can use skills from a safer distance and don't need to be up close or behind the boss like a shotgun using dead eye. So in general classes with difficult class mechanics like weapon swap or need more position awareness will slide down the tier list until you are more experienced with the game and the class itself. This often leads in MMORPGs to more difficult classes being less popular and players rerolling to easier classes because of the illusion those low skill floor classes create by outperforming the more difficult one. At the same time, often the higher skill floor classes have also a higher skill ceiling 
So if you don't give up too early, you might get rewarded with a fun playstyle and a peak performance which can't be reached by those lower skill floor classes. Now, the conclusion. How can all this help you to make a better choice on the EU NA servers? First of all, be honest to yourself. Are you someone who has the patience to pick up a higher skill floor class which might need more time and resources to perform well? If it is the case, you should be prepared to get outperformed by the lower skill floor and less time and resource reliant classes. And even more important is the fact that some of the classes will get increasingly mechanically challenging once we get to the higher tiers. Mistakes won't be easily forgiven and lack of reaction time will be visible at the clear statistics of a content. In general, if you know that you are not capable of playing higher difficulty classes, then it might be better to pick one which requires less time, awareness or is just more forgiving. An average player who plays such a class will usually outperform someone who picked a higher difficulty class but isn't able to reach the minimum requirement needed to play the class well enough because of the limits set by the body and mind. Last but not least, if you are someone who doesn't give a damn about tier lists or MVP screens at the end of the content, ignore everything and pick a class which is the most fun for you. But at the same time, be aware that Lost Ark requires from everyone to pull their own weights. So you need to show a minimum level performance to clear contents. Someone who expects to get carried without providing anything to the other members or just made the wrong class choice might find it hard to clear contents as fast as the other players do. Now, everything comes together. Remember the list I showed at the start of this video? The classes listed on the left side are the ones which are more forgiving, less resource reliant, easy to learn or a combination of all those things. Classes on the right side will ask for more than just the minimum, it might be one of those factors or everything. So at the end of this video, I have two simple questions. Where are your limits? And what is it you truly desire? Wait, as promised, a short explanation why I didn't scream for the last two months or took a break from making end content related guides. Sadly, I can't give you the full reason yet, but there is a surprise waiting for everyone, which will get revealed soon enough. At the same time, I want you guys to know that I will start to stream the UNA CBT as soon as I have reached level 50. There are a lot of things which need to be verified and compared to the other regions. So not only will I be able to capture the last few footages needed for my guides, but I will also be able to decide which guides I already made might need a rework. At this point, I really want to thank everyone in this community who stayed with me and gave their support over the last five years of our very long Lost Ark journey. It feels like a long wished dream coming true. I remember the Korean CBT times and my first video guide of Lost Ark I made back in 2016. I remember when there were only four or five other English content creators who were like me captivated by this game and started to make guides so that everyone could enjoy this game without having to know the Korean or later the Russian language. Some of them are still here and giving their best aren't. ABC, easy, echo. Now look at where we are, the game we were in love with, getting so much attention from everywhere. So yeah, I'm on the hype train, which is traveling for years now and which gonna reach soon its next destination called EUNA. Don't forget to sit close to one of the thousand Lost Ark veterans and listen to what they have to tell, so that you can avoid making the same mistakes they have done in the past. 
and make sure to enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching and listening. See you guys in the next video or stream your Tea Party Percy.